So I wanted to do a short video about Molex connectors and what we have here are three components of a, a 2.54 Molex type wafer connector. Okay, so you, you've got the housing here, here's the wafer connector itself, and these are the 2.54, I think it's a KK crimp, it's a Molex type crimp, and they're, they're a little bit tricky to uh, maneuver to get the, the wire connected to them, so I'm going to try to do a close-up video because uh, I've had some questions about it, and if you haven't done it before and you're not sure what you're doing, it can be a little bit daunting. So here we are back with the 2.54 millimeter crimp and you can see scale to size these things are are quite small um, first thing to do I like to use 22 gauge AWG wire it's for for my making my um, these crimps and making jumpers so I've already stripped the end of the wire. Uh, there you can see how much I've stripped it. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay this in. I'm doing my best to keep it in screen here. So you can see that the insulation jacket is thick enough on this silicone wire to be held in place by these two little fingers here on the very end and you want the stripped portion of the wire just not to extend beyond the second set of fingers otherwise it's going to inhibit the pin on the wafer portion. So here's the tricky part of figuring out how to do this. Um, these are my Proster SN, I think that what are they? SN 28Bs crimpers. So you want to lay this thing in the crimper. I'm going to try to do this keeping my fingers out of the way hopefully. I'm going to lay it in like this just so the fingers are flush with the face of the crimper. And it's a ratcheting crimper and you can see it's crimped but it's still held in there you can pop it out like that um, take a close look that actually looks that actually looks pretty good okay hopefully that's focused and then now what you do is you take the the housing and these notches here you're going to flip this crimp over and insert it like thus okay so the little pin engages that slot. This is a two position crimp. Um, I'm actually for my purpose I'm only going to use one of these. So that's how you do it. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions just leave me a comment. Thanks.